Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a mobile food pantry haul for you. Uh, this is something that, it's a mobile food pantry and they go by different names across the country. Uh, they bring a semi truck. Um, they set up at, ours is at a, our county fairgrounds, but they have also, I've also seen where they set up at like elementary or high schools, those kind of things. Um, anywhere where they have a decent sized parking lot and they pull everything out. It's all on pallets. You drive through. So you sit in line and you drive through, uh, with your, the back of your vehicle open. And then they'll ask you how many you want, how many like portions you want. And they put it in and they close it and you drive away. So it's a drive through one. So it's a great one for, um, the elderly or, uh, if you are disabled in any way, shape or form. Um, it would be a great one for that. Uh, we have also learned to, it starts at four. Um, we get there at like three, three fifteen, somewhere in there and be one of the first ones in line. I think we were about 20 cars deep and we just sit in the car. I read our read aloud out loud to the kids. Um, they played with the car toys, that kind of thing. Uh, and that way I'm not, having to leave the vehicle running and move forward, move, you know, move forward, move forward as the line moves forward. Either way, we're going to be there for 45 minutes to an hour. I'd rather just not run the vehicle. So that's kind of our plan for these from now on. If my husband's home, I send him because he can take his way more fuel efficient, better conditioned vehicle and do that. So anyway, um, I did go ahead and choose to get two um, portions today because we are going down to that family event and I asked the lady when we pulled up what all we were getting and I was mentally checking off in my head hey that's something that I could take down that's something that I could take down that's something that I could take down so I thought okay of the things that we would be getting at least half of this is going to go down with us so perfect that's exactly a great way of getting it used what this is usually is things that are expired or very close to being expired. They work with the local grocery stores for things that they have an overabundance of, that kind of thing. Um, and so they donate it and then the mobile food pantry works together to kind of split it up out into the community. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at what we were blessed with today. So this is two boxes. Each box has two bags, two four pound bags of meatless chicken wings. Um, and they are just essentially frozen chicken nuggets. They're maybe a little bit longer than chicken nuggets. Um, but these are going in the freezer and my kids will be enjoying these. No problem. Uh, for me, I have to eat low carb for health reasons. They aren't an option for me, but that's totally fine because I'm looking at this going, that's meals and meals and meals worth of quick and easy lunches for my kids. And you can see the best of use by date is the end of this year. Um, just like a couple of months from now. So that's why it was donated it is the they're Yeah. Almost expired. We got a bunch of produce. I'm so excited. There are four bags of onions. Those, some of those are coming down with us, but I have no issue with using onions. I love cooking with onions in all shape and form. And then I was also thinking I've been meaning to make some pickled onions with red onions. And so I'm so excited. And I will point this out. I think this is why they were donated. They're mistagged. This is labeled as yellow onions instead of red onions. So I think that's why those were donated. There are six small heads of cabbage. Uh, definitely some of those are going down with us because uh, my mom is the one planning all the meals and she has at least two meals that she can use that for. So she said, yep, by all means, bring those. There are four beautiful pineapples and those are coming down with us because those would be a great one for, there will be a lot of kids there. So those would be a nice one for kids to snack on. There are four bags of these spicy sweet potato fries. Um, this is something that I would totally have just kept all of these except for them spicy. So I don't know that my kids will eat these. I may try making a small amount of them and see um, how spicy they are because normally my kids would devour sweet potato fries, but because they're spicy, 
Um, I'm not sure. But my mom had burgers and coleslaw planned for a meal. And so I said, hey, why don't I bring these down and we can bake those up? So those are going down. See, brilliant. There are two dozen eggs. Um, we have chickens, but they have definitely slowed down as fall approaches or as here and as the, the days get shorter, they lay less. So um, my family will definitely use those. I actually like using store-bought eggs to make hard-boiled eggs because they peel easier. Um, so those will probably, I may end up just going ahead and hard-boiling all of those and taking down a dozen for me to have some snacky things that's um, high protein that I can have. There are two packages of hamburger buns. Those are going down because, like I said, she had hamburgers on the menu. And then there are four gallons of 1% milk. Those, I um, I think I'm going to take probably a couple of gallons down because she said she had picked up um, a couple of gallons, but it probably wouldn't hurt to have some extra because there'll be a bunch of kids eating breakfast, um, a.k.a. junky cereal, over several days. So um, I'm probably going to take a couple of those down and then leave a couple here and we will drink on it or I may end up making some yogurt with it too. So um, yeah. So yeah, overall it ended up working out. This is, the mobile one is one that I kind of hem-haw around about going a lot of times because of the sitting in line for an hour. But then also just the, you don't know what you're going to get. You don't have any choice. Um, and there have been a couple of times when we have went where um, we got a lot of stuff that we couldn't use. There was at one point in time when we got a lot of coffee creamer and coffee and there was just no way we could use it all. And I tried so hard to give it away and could find nobody that liked the flavor of the coffee creamer. I ended up using the um, the coffee on the garden because you can put coffee grounds on the garden. So um, I used some of it on that. But yeah, anyway, it it's just one of those where sometimes this is hit and miss. This was definitely a hit this time. I'm very excited about this one. I might end up even taking some of those chicken nuggets down. Uh, because they would make a good lunch for the kids for one of those. But if not, my kids will totally plow through those, no problem. So that is, oh, sorry, chickenless chicken nuggets. I got to say that. They're not chicken nuggets. They're chickenless chicken nuggets. That makes me giggle. So, yeah, that is everything. I uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.